This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial I'm gonna show you how to scale and rotate here. So it might seem like a very trivial thing to do, but it's actually quite important, all right? So the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the starter content here, and we're gonna go into the props, and there's one specific prop that I always like to use here, and that specific prop is this material mesh here, and this will be good enough here. Now, if you really want to, uh, we can uh, change the uh, change everything to, let's say, gold and silver, because there are a few things I want to, uh, not silver, um, silver, it isn't here. Um, but anyway, some kind of metal, uh, brushed nickel, steel, chrome, I uh, will do nickel because that's close enough to silver. But anyway, okay, so you get the idea, right? So there's a couple of things that I need to show you in order to make this work here. So if we hop over to the transform here, you have the location and you can obviously move this in the X, Y, or Z axis. It's up to you, whichever one you want to do. Uh, but you'll notice that the cursor changes. You can also rotate this. This rotates everything on the X axis, the Y axis, and of course the Z axis right? So you get the idea here, right? Likewise, you can scale on the uh, X. Now, you notice how everything's going together. Well, there's this lock. If you undo the lock, you can stretch it out. Now, I'm just going to stretch this out to something ridiculous. Now, obviously, the more you stretch this out, the worse it looks, okay? So what you can do is Whenever I'm doing this here, I always push the tab button to get back into that. But as you can see, a one-to-one -one works. For the scaling, it's best to have this on here. You don't always, but you usually do, right? And it's always best to have everything uh, there too, okay? So that's pretty much it. But if you press the E key, you'll get this little widget here, okay? And this little widget, you can see it, you can rotate it to certain degrees here. Now, you can see here that it's basically going up to the 10 and that is, um, well, so somewhat by default here. You can actually change it. If you only want it to do by 90 degrees. You can do that as well. So up here, you can actually change everything, uh, which actually doesn't look so bad here or 120, 10 degrees is perfect for me. Now, of course you can rotate this on any axis, uh, and you can rotate, like so. So usually when you're putting in rocks, so let me just find a good rock here, um, because this is probably the best thing to do. Uh, three assets. Let's see if I can find a, a rocky snow pile, snow hill, uh, tight beach, pack, corals, rocks. Here we go. Okay, we just basically need a rock here. And uh, that's not exactly what I'm looking for, but um, let's see, is this the one? Anyway, if you want to, you can always kind of move these up and down accordingly. That looks pretty good. Um, so that's something you can also do. Uh, so if you just kind of move things over, it looks like kind of like the rock is, you know, in, in the ground like that. So it looks a little bit better. Okay. So obviously you can rotate this here and last but not least you can scale. So you can scale up, out. But if you want to scale uniformly, you, you, you can see if you move it to that white cube here, you can scale it up. Now you can also scale it inversely, which is a little bit weird, but nevertheless, you can scale it up. Now I'm just going to scale this up to a big degree here. And if you look at it, right, like if you kind of look at this and actually it'll be pretty much inside of it. Uh, but you can see that, you know, the scaling does, it's not bad, but at some point in time, it does get a little bit, it doesn't get as, um, uh, it's a little bit less detailed. So if you were to actually make an object and then um, and then scale it up, uh, it would be it would be a lot better here. So it does still look pretty good. The rendering engine in Unreal is pretty good here, but I'm actually just gonna scale it up even more, just so I can kind of show you how poorly it can get. Right. So if we scale it up, you know, you can see that uh, it is starting to be a little bit faded, but still depending on when you started gaming, it does look pretty good. So of course you can change all of that back to one and there you go. And then you can kind of move that up here and there, and that's basically it. And there you go. And so that's how you rotate and scale. 
Okay, it's something that's pretty easy and it's something that you do quite a bit here. Okay, so there you go. And if you ever need to change um, the grid, so to what it snaps on, you can use this. If you ever need to change the rotation grid, you can use this. And then lastly, the scaling here. Okay, so if you want to scale um, more or less, you can do that as well. So those are those three, what those three options here, all right? So this is a pretty easy tutorial, but if you're a beginner, this is something that's incredibly useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.